In Xanadu did Kubla Khan a stately pleasure dome decree, where Alf, the sacred river, ran through caverns measureless to man, down to a sunless sea. So twice five miles of fertile ground, with walls and towers were girdled round, and there where gardens bright with sinuous rills, where blossomed many an incense-bearing tree, and here where forests ancient as the hills enfolding sunny spots of greenery. But oh, that deep romantic chasm which slanted down the green hill athwart a sedan cove, a savage place as holy and enchanted as e'er beneath a waning moon was haunted by woman wailing for her demon lover, and from this chasm, with ceaseless turmoil seething, as if this earth and fast thick pants were breathing, a mighty fountain momently was forced, amid whose swift half-intermitted burst huge fragments vaulted like rebounding hail of chaffy grain beneath the thresher's flail. And mid these dancing rocks, at once and ever, it flung up momently in sacred river, five miles meandering with a mazy motion, through wood and dale and sacred river ran, then reached the caverns measureless to man, and sank in tumult to a lifeless ocean. And mid this tumult, Kubla heard from far, Ancestral voices prophesizing war And shadow of the dome of pleasure Flaunted midway on the waves Where was heard the mingled measure From the fountain and the caves It was a miracle of rare device A sunny pleasure dome with caves of ice A damsel with a dulcima In a vision once I saw It was an Abyssinian maid And on her dulcimer she played could I revive within me her symphony and song? To such a deep delight twould win me that with music loud and long I would build that dome in air with sunny dome, those caves of ice and all who heard should see them there and all should cry, beware, beware his flashing eyes, his floating hair weave a circle round him thrice and close her eyes with holy dread for he on honeydew hath fed and drunk the milk of paradise. <laughs>